In this video, we have the challenge of the challenges between the Amalfi Coast and Santorini. Where should you invest? Which is the best location? We're gonna look at some overall criteria and we're gonna look at, based on our experience, real estate. So this is our ranking. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna walk you through a series of criteria and do the voting based on our experience, which one is the best. You ready? All right, here we go. The first is views. Well, you know, I'm right now here on the Mafi Coast, and uh, if you look at this, the cliffs coming down, I mean, look at that. And, uh, this is a little town of Atrani behind me. And you know, if you look at Positano, overlooking the water, the sea there at night with all the lights, it's just so beautiful. And you have, you know, all these little towns along the way you know, Ravello up above with the views, you know, Praiano with that little area, you know, in the rocks where you have this little beach with restaurants. Just, you know, the views are incredible. But then you go to Santorini and you have the caldera, you know, looking down to the water, just incredible. You know, one of the most beautiful and unique views in the world. So really, really, incredible and uh, it's known i mean people go around the world santorini is rated one of the most beautiful islands in the world so we would say in terms of views that it's gonna be an equal there's no clear winner both have incredible incredible views so the next one access so between amafi coast in italy and Santorini. Well, it is Amalfi Coast that wins. You have Naples, Naples, which is Napoli, a big airport about an hour and a half away, and Rome, about three hours and 20 minutes away, much more access than Santorini. So that is a first point or a win for Amalfi Coast. All right, let's look at food and restaurants. Well, this was a hot discussion with Claudia, and well, you know what? I love Greek food. Greek food is just amazing and I love Italian food. So it was a hard one, uh, but Claudia convinced me. She said, you know, if you look along the Mafia Coast, just the quality of Italian food and again, the diversity because, you know, there's more cities, um, more types of restaurants, more types of cuisines you can get access to. So we would say that Amafi wins. All right, let's look at the next one. Hotels and the prices of the hotels. Well, in our experience, in this one, it is in fact uh, Santorini that wins. We find that some of the hotels along the Mafi Coast, they get really pricey, even off season, and some are a little bit older, not redone. And in Santorini, you really have a variety. You can find on the Parissa area, some nice places at very entry prices and then you just got so many hotel options or airbnb options along the caldera where you have your little pool or shared pool and we find that you actually have more variety at better price if you're looking for something really beautiful so on this one santorini wins and so all right let's look at the next one the next one is beaches well beaches you know in fact if we look here is one example of a beach we're here in At atrani you can see you know a dark pebble beach most of the beaches in santorino are also dark you don't have that white sand pristine beaches like you can find in places like sardinia or um, in some of the other greek islands so we'll tend to say that both almafi coast and santorini would be equal in terms of the beaches all right the next one getting around well getting around is a very important one and in this one we're going to say both can be tricky in the peak season but in our experience um the mafi coast because of this small road that wraps around it gets crazy in the summer and really difficult and you pretty much have a traffic jam everybody's going along trying to take photos filming from the car and because there's just so little road there's just one road in many places that goes along the cliffside what you find is that you really have more traffic problems so in our experience despite the fact that it gets really busy in santorini santorini is better in terms of uh, getting around now if we look at activities so if you want to do 
diversity of activities, let's focus on the activities, then in fact, we would say both are quite similar, but probably our mafia wins. So in both, you can take a boat, head down to, you know, along the water. You can, in, in Amafi, you can visit all the little towns. You have these water taxis, you can go to Capri. Um, you can also go on some boat rides, beautiful, you know, turquoise water off of Santorini. But of course, you know, Amafi being on mainland, you have more activities. Like if you wanna go mountain biking up, you know, the mountains, you wanna do some hiking, you wanna do a more ver broader variety. You know, anything that's water related, you'll be pretty similar. If you wanna go sea kayaking, you can do it both. But from the moment you wanna do a bit more landlocked activities, well, in fact, we would say that Amafi wins. Let's look at the next one, diversity. Well, diversity, different things to do, places to go to. In fact, here too, we would say that Amafi Coast wins because you have different cities, but also you can go you know, to bigger towns, you can go to Naples, you can go inland, you can go to the mountain. Of course, it's mainland, so there's gonna be more diversity than if you're just on an island. So this one goes to Almafi Coast. So that wraps up the overall criteria. Now let's move to the real estate criteria. All right, so number one, in terms of prices and options. Well, this was an interesting one. In our experience, having visited and looked at real estate in both locations, we find that Santorini edges ahead. There's a few reasons why. One is we find you can still find better prices. The caldera is very expensive, but you can find some amazing sea views, some places to renovate or some homes at prices. In our experience, we can have a pool that is lower than what we've seen uh, on um, the Amafi coast. Also, what we've seen is um, in terms, you can build still, you can still buy land to build in Santorini. And that is really something, you know, the Amafi coast is considered a UNESCO area and it's super restrictive. There's barely anything left. And if you buy a lot and let's say there's an old ruin, you can renovate it, but there's very, very limited options to build. So in our experience, based on price, and variety of options, we would say Santorini wins. All right, parking. Now, this is one of the big challenges on the Amalfi Coast. You know, even doing Airbnb, it is very hard. Many don't have parking. So it's really a challenge. If you're investing in real estate, it's actually quite hard to find a place that has its own parking and you're gonna pay a massive premium. And we find there's a lot of Airbnbs of course, if you're in the center of Oya or Fira in uh, Santorini, it's going to be much more challenging. But we've actually found that it's easier to find parking, of course, in high season, both. It's crazy. But even off season, the road up to Positano for a few kilometers out of town, people who work in the hotel and restaurant business, they go early in the morning, park along the roads. So it's really hard to find parking. So Santorini would win this one. And then finally, the last one, is rental season. Then in our experience, both have pretty similar seasons that start, you know, kind of around the April period, March, April, and go to the end of October, end of October. We've just found that many restaurants, hotels really close in the Amalfi Coast, right? So you really have, um, just we were surprised even downtown in Positano by the water you have places that just completely close off at the end of October and open just before Easter versus in Santorini and I've personally been in you know end of November and even though yes a lot of things are closed some of the stores you still have enough restaurants and life and the hotels open so in our experience the rental season is a bit better and longer in Santorini well that wraps up the challenge of the titans, of the most beautiful places, the Mafi Coast and Santorini. So in our assessment, when you combine the overall and then with the real estate, well, actually Santorini comes ahead, but that's just our personal um, uh, calculation, or our personal rankings. Love to hear yours. Put it in the comment box. I hope you enjoyed this. A lot more to come. We're constantly looking at real estate in beautiful places, trying to find places to invest for either to have a second home, a holiday home for retirement, or to put money into um, 
you know, short-term rental revenue. So you're investing to get some capital appreciation and get some passive income. So we're constantly looking at beautiful places. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in one of the next videos. Take care and see you soon.